The multiverse community has a major problem, and this is putting too much faith in leaks. While leaks can get people hyped for the game, leaks can also lead to unnecessary hate and over expectations. A good example of this was how so many leakers and content creators keep talking about how they have data mined to all these crazy characters like Ben 10 and Scorpion and they know everyone that's going to come for season 1. But Banana Guard was a character that just got revealed like two days ago. And before this reveal from officially multiverse themselves, no one knew he was going to be a character. So let me ask you this question. If everything got data mined, how did we not know Banana Guard was going to be a character? And speaking on Banana Guard even more, the majority of the reason he was even hated so much was because of the leak community in the first place. They put so many characters in people's head, like Dexter coming really soon, which he probably still will honestly, the Powerpuff Girls, and all these other data mine characters like Scorpion, and right now we have Jason. But when Banana Guard came, everyone's gonna throw a fit because it's not what the leakers were talking about, even though multiverses never said these characters were coming up next. At the end of the day, we have no idea how many characters are coming before this game drops. Just because they show two character slots are empty, does not mean we're gonna get two more characters. Just because we got a Townsville map, does not mean that we're gonna immediately get the Powerpuff Girls when the game comes back. Basically what I'm saying is, we need to put a little more grain of salt into when these leakers, or even content creators like me, say things. Because at the end of the day, it's all just theories. In 7 hours, Banana Guard has way more likes and views than the Joker trailer does all together. What does that mean? That means people don't hate Banana Guard. While well, yes, people say, oh, Multiverse needs some incredible bangers to come back with a really high player base. The most important thing is we get a healthy amount of content and like a few good characters. As long as they put love into the character and the game is in a healthy spot, that's all that mainly matters. Because at the end of the day, all these characters you want will end up coming in the future anyway. But overall guys, that's it. Until next time, peace out. Do not take leaks to heart.